you know, the greatest thing behind Vegas Live with Nina was actually behind the scenes. We should really shoot behind the scenes as well because it's pretty cool and I get myself into trouble all the time. But I'm always in trouble, but I love every minute of it. Hey, Monica. I got hey, Monica back again. I'm back. Not back. She was, and also, first things first. Oh, Troy. How are you, Troy? I'm very good. You, are you I? good? I'm good. Now, I was told Troy's <laughs> shy and he's quiet. He doesn't seem that way. But anyway, first things first. Happy birthday to you. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Monica. Monica. Maybe I could be a singer. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank and you. so you are what, 21 and holding? I just turned 21. <laughs> okay, so now you're allowed in here to drink. Of course. Where is your drink anyway? Um, oh, you, she drank it. That's what she did with it. Yeah. She drank it. <laughs> I'm a fast one. <laughs> and she wants me to remark on that. I don't think so. I'm not going to say one word no about comment. that. No comment. Troy, is she a fast one? Oh, let her tell you. <laughs> let her oh, tell you. I'm going to let her tell you. I think he lost count. <laughs> yeah, I did. Hey, how many rings? Look at all these rings you got. You got one finger missing, hanging. It. Where's this one? You lost it. I'm waiting for a birthday gift for these two. Oh, oh, oh that's a definite <laughs> hint, hint, hint. Well, the squeaking wheel gets the grease, right? <laughs> so, what is going on with your life? Well, you, you actually, she's a psychic reader, and a, and a, and a, and you read cards. You, you. I don't do, do cards. You don't do cards. She does this ghost tour thing, and you go into places and find ghosts and talk to them and reminisce with them and what do you I don't know what I'm saying I'm gonna help her out yeah help me up what you do <laughs> I'm a psychic medium and a paranormal investigator I don't do tarot cards don't believe in them I do natural readings so everything comes to me naturally when I'm doing a reading that's a hundred percent accurate okay and I also do paranormal investigations so how are the investigations going on because those must be really pretty cool they well, are. They must be. Yeah, they are. Must be exciting. That to me is exciting. I think it's really fun when I get to know different spirits at different locations. They tell me their stories and things like that. So it's pretty interesting. So do people actually hire you to come into their business or their house or yes. their thing to find out what's going on because yes. they think someone's there or something's happening? Mm -hmm. or I've got to get her to come to my house because I sometimes feel that somebody's in my house. You know, I'm not too sure. And, uh, you know, <laughs> I'm still waiting for that invitation. Well, you're going to get it pretty soon. But if I can slow down, oh, you might get it this, this coming week, this weekend, because I'm going to be home. I have to be home, so everything's going to be pretty cool. Awesome. Now, Troy, Troy's, yes, old, Troy's uh, laughing yes, and he's having fun, yes, and everybody told me he was shy. I don't think. What do you do, Troy? I do a lot of different things. Such as? A, such as banquet server, banquet setup. Uh, massage oh. therapy. So I've done martial arts, so, so I have a lot of susceptibility to banquet energy. Banquet server. Set up. Banquet set up, banquet server. And massage. I finished the trade. A massage. How do they go hand in hand? I'm a hospitality professional. Oh, okay. All of, just so, as a whole. So you just, have all your degrees, you have all the things you need. I got need. a bachelor's in criminal justice, actually. Oh, my. Mm. He's a multitasker. I'm a workaholic. Just a workaholic, yes. so if I need any money, I come to you because you must have a lot. Oh, that's got to go to towards the bills. I can't, <laughs> you mean people have bills? I can't free give the money away. We have bills? We didn't know we had bills. <laughs> I don't have it's bills. Bills, rent, mortgage, rent. It's called adulting. We don't know what that adulting. is. <laughs> oh, so, boy, I'm going to ask you a question. Um, what do you read with me right now? You have been under a lot of stress lately. She's so right. I have. You're right. I know. Yes. <laughs> She's been under a lot of stress lately, and I think uh, it, you need a it, spiritual cleansing. Is it um, is it going away? It's slowly going away. Good, There's yeah. still some that's lingering well, it, it's around. Only because there were some things happening, and then they didn't go through. They didn't formalize, and then I had to redo the whole yeah. thing again. And but I was very patient, and I did what I had to do, and I'm still doing it, and it's still doing okay. So mm -hmm. you know, and it's slowly phasing out. Yes, I, I think I've, I think it's somewhere in my somewhere that I was going to have a tough month and I had to be careful oh, yeah. and then that I, that I can get through it if I have my positive side. So all my energies came out mm -hmm. and, and took over um, mm -hmm. because I would not let it go. Yeah. yeah. You I also need a spiritual cleansing to I let all that cleansing. negative what? energy all right. go all right. away. Hang on a second. What is a spiritual cleansing? Are you testing me again? Of course. Why not? <laughs> I mean, come on. 
I have them. passed every single test on her show. She's still testing. <laughs> I'm still testing. I want to know what the spirit. Well, I don't want to know, but my audience wants to well, know. Well, spiritual cleansing is if you're going in through tough times or stress, you know, people tend to create this negative energy around them without even realizing it. Okay. Okay. When you do a spiritual cleansing, or when I do a spiritual cleansing, I get rid of all that negative energy around you. Would that be other people giving me the negative energy? It can be as well, I, I mean, it is, because there is one person that... that you can yes. absorb other people's yes. energy, positive yes. and negative. Yes. yes. And you do have yes. some lingering around you. Yes, Once I they're do. Once they gone... Yes, I do, I know. Then you can take yep. a step forward I and... But I, I seem to be able to get rid of it anyway, because that's just my personality. Because you're positive. Yeah, the more very, you stay positive... Yeah the more you'll yeah. be able to push that negative away from yeah, us. And that's why I thought I'll get rid of it all. And I will absolutely. absolutely. It'll be gone. And it's, it's like, and it's not really negative. I will not call it negative. It's an experience. And it's something, it's a challenge, actually. Oh, okay. And I'm getting through the challenge. And it's going very, very well. And I also believe that if it's going to work, it'll work. And if it won't, it won't. And that's yeah. the dust yep. wasn't mm -hmm. meant to be. Yes, um, so how's working? You see, working? We've, been, we've been working... Almost similar colors, dark colors. You see that? It's the darkness. It's a, it's I'm a, such a good influence on her. You see that? The more I, first you start off with lighter colors, and now it's. I love it's the you. dark side of me coming out. I didn't even know I had a dark side, but it's only in the nail polish. We Don't all worry. have a dark side, but that's a good thing, though. Sometimes dark side protects you from evil around you. Well, now I would like to know how that works for our audience, also for me, because um, people do not ever like to have a dark side, and if they do, they don't want to talk about it. So you're now saying it's not bad, Troy. It's not bad, huh? Well, no, I, I think you can. It's kind of a camouflage in a way. Yes. If they see you're one of them, they'll overlook you, and then they'll they won't bother you in that way. <laughs> so, think of, so if they think of sense that you, your dark side starts coming out, if somebody, for example, yes. is inter, trying to intercept with your work or, or come in your personal space and bother you, they sense that dark <laughs> side, that energy radiating off of you, oh, yeah. they will stay, they will be like, okay, well, she's not a pushover, we can't, you know, we, we can't try to take advantage. That's so funny. She's I the wrong person to be to messing be, with. I'm going to tell you something. I walked on this set today and I told my producer and also my director, I told them something. And I said, just get rid of it and don't worry about it next minute move forward. But that was the positive side of what I could see what was going on. And it's ended up great. <laughs> see? Okay. It's good. ended up. And I think when you feel there is something coming or something around you, I feel that if you talk about it and sort of acknowledge that you know it's there, rather than sort of getting... It's not, under the rug. it's not happening to me. It'll never happen to me. And those things don't happen. That's not true. It happens to everybody, believe me. And so I opened it up and I said, just be careful, be aware and, and just move forward. And don't yeah. let it interfere with any of us. Absolutely. One o'clock I didn't have one single guest here. And I had all these people booked. It's never happened before. And then Monica arrived, and then right after that, shortly after, everybody. Yeah, they all, they, they all arrived. <laughs> See, I bring everybody. It's like bring I, everybody. I attract positive people. But you know, so. it's a good thing, because you, you can read people as well, as yes. well as I can read people. Yes, I do. I know, you know, I can tell the difference between a good, positive person and a negative person. Yes. That's, I call them snakes. Exactly yeah, well, I've called the worst things than that, so well, you, I can't that's say okay. that on camera. That's okay. I think that's, that's the nicest cool. word I could put. That's that is a, nice a very word. nice word because I don't call them snakes. If you're a snake, I know who you are <laughs> so and what you are, and I'll stay away yeah, from you. It's funny, but I'd rather know who they are and what they are than sort of, you know, hide it away. You know. Well, then you should yeah. listen to me when I tell you. All right, tell me. I'm listening. I'm not telling you on camera. <laughs> <laughs> Monica's bad? work is, is done behind the scenes. You know that. <laughs> is, it, is it that bad that you can't tell me? Can't. <laughs> no. Oh my. I'm just pulling. See, you thought you were going to be shy, and it was going to be a very quiet well, show. I am. <laughs> we're just I making am. him laugh. You see that? Oh, Our whole yeah. interview probably hasn't made sense to any of you, but it, it kind of, if you really listen clearly in between these jokes. It'll make sense. We're definitely, we're talking about spirituality, our yeah. energies, how good? to read yeah, people's energies. Read and, and the audience out there, I mean, well, what could you give them to sort of protect themselves? Because the world is becoming so um, fragile. It's very fragile with Absolutely. people. It's very fragile with people. It's a very fine line. Because 
a lot of times we don't know if they're friends or not friends or they're telling the truth or they're not telling the truth. Oh, we, 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 we're that. getting a lot of, you know, it yeah. never used to be that. like that. I mean, I'm old enough to say it never used to be like this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You could trust everybody. Everything was fine. Everything, you know, shook hands. Everything was one. It's not uh -huh. like that anymore. But I'm sure there are people out there that it is like. So well, this is, this is what you guys do. I'm going to give you guys a really Get good example. A, a, a really, yeah. Okay. So, if you have somebody that you feel that's negative yes. around you, you have that intuition, mm. listen to that intuition, okay? Keep that person at arm's length, keep your eyes and ears open, okay? And just, you know, have your radars up and you can sense, you can pick up people's energies. If they're a long time friend, uh, you could try to maintain. Those are the scary ones, long time friends. Because you don't suspect them yep. being the way that they are behind your back or behind closed doors. Yes, yes. But again, our intuitions always kick in and you yes. have to pay attention and listen to them. So intuition is probably one of the greatest things Absolutely. you can have. And it's funny because intuition is something we don't ever listen. We actually are told, and I know this through experience, we are told before anything happens um, what to do and how to do it. In other words, I'm, I'm walking along and let's go left instead of right. Mm -hmm. And I'll go straight ahead. I'm not listening. Yeah. We're actually stronger than animals in that way. Animals just listen to it. Yeah. But we have the more sophisticated one. We just don't listen to it because we're so well, we're into technology. Well, we're and yeah, we're ready to affirm everything. Well, well, this is why, you know, God's got all our life planned. And if God told me what he was going to do, I'm sure I'd mess this whole thing up. He gives so us he free doesn't will. tell me. He gives us free will. Yes, he doesn't tell me what's going on because otherwise I'll mess it up. So we have to make yeah. choices. Yes. And we have to, so you know, we make choice? the right choice and the bad choice. How do people listen to their inside of what they're being told? How, how do the people Sometimes do you get a nagging feeling if you get this nagging feeling inside mm -hmm. pay attention to it okay do oh, your yeah. research look into it okay. yep. because not everybody could do what I do for example well, I, I can look at a person and I can read them like this yeah. from head to toe yeah. I know what they've done I know what they're up to I know what they're gonna do <laughs> well, I, what am I up to you no are, good. <laughs> again behind closed doors <laughs> Um, Nina, will you listen and pay attention? Yes. Nina has to learn to listen to me behind closed doors, and then she'll be fine. Um, no, but she's you know, coming over to my house this weekend. Believe me, we're going to have a right talk. Oh, we're going to have, have a private Bobby, chat. You're not ha she's coming to my house. <laughs> you can come as well. We're invited. <laughs> yes, um, but you know, those who don't have the ability to do that, that's fine. Again, your intuition, your instincts, and it does how tell you read you. people. It does tell you. If you interact with somebody and they have a negative energy, you will pick up on it. Oh yeah. And when you pick up on it, you quickly, know that as quickly. well. Quickly. Stay away from them. Okay. You can feel it. Because they oh, can okay. smile in your face. Yes. But there is snake behind your back. Oh, I agree with that. 100%. And you stay away from those kind of people. Okay, you I know just exactly feel what it. you mean. You I can know. feel it. Like yeah. for me, if I get a high energy person, I'm an empath. Okay. So if I get a high energy person, it's almost like what's a, an empath? Explain to them what an empath. An empath, somebody that's sensitive. They're actually healers of. Um, <clears throat> they're the they're society's healers. Um, they're very sensitive, the oftentimes introverts, very sensitive to big crowds. To energies. Yes. Yeah, to energies. And they want to help people. They're, uh, how do you say it? Um, they're, um, I love helping people. Yeah. It's, all, it's natural. We're show. actually all, we're it's actually all naturally about. empaths. We're yes. all naturally a little bit of empath, but some people are more attuned than others. Yes, you know, yes, Especially yeah. if you went through maybe say, I've grown up doing martial arts, so I was very active, and that's a lot of energy. I've done but massage, I've done lot, Reiki. But you let go a lot of your, your and energy. And it's spiritual time. And it, yes, it is, exactly. And so, for me, I'm very susceptible for maybe, say, empaths and attract a lot of narcissists. Yes. They try to deplete our energy. Yes. And so, we have to work on ways to protect ourselves. See, I'm, oh. I'm pretty much Monica's protege here. She's actually getting me further in tune on I'm everything that's mentor. going on. Yes. You're his mentor. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. And you brought him on a show where he can actually express himself. Um, are you going to start doing this as a business as well? Well, you, you Give do a lot time. of stuff in, in oh, business anyway. Oh, a lot. Anyway. My energy's everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> How's your business going, Monica? How's it going? Are it's booming. It's booming? It's booming. I would think you'd do very well in this town because I would think everybody in this town is sort of a little bit sort of on the not quite sure where they're going and what they're doing and they need some energy and spiritual movement and 
let them know where they're going and oh, what they're yeah, doing. Big time. And if, yeah, big time. Big because time this, this, is a, this is a very competitive town. Yes, oh. Las Vegas, you've got the very musical people, you've got the entertainers, and they're all fighting to get that job, and they're definitely not going to tell you about it, so nobody wants to help anybody in this town. Yeah. Um, Monica doesn't compete with anybody, though. They, they com try to compete with Monica, competitions within South but I don't compete with anybody. I do my own thing, See, I have too, my I have own people, I have my crew, I have my clients. Right. Not just that, it's not just this town, though. No. I have clients from around the world. Yes, yeah. It is so, a world thing. Absolutely. And it's like, you know, I think if you're secure, it's like there's a lot of talk show hosts. Um, I'm very secure who I am, what I am, and how I am. I've been here for nearly four years at the Pepper Mill. And don't forget to go to the, to YouTube and subscribe to us so we build up our, you know, our, our subscription ship and everything else there. And But we're doing very, very well. I've had a lot of people want to sort of take me over and do this and do that. And why don't you do this, Nina? And take I said, you over. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that can be sorry that can be that can be it's meant. my birthday i can <laughs> i can have whatever mine that i want can, today that can be meant in many different ways we'll discuss but, it behind closed doors and again. all of you out there have a choice whichever way you want to take it but anyway they all want to take my show over <laughs> you should clarify that and uh, and i go ahead you know go and have your own show do your own thing it doesn't bother me they don't have my voice they don't have my personality mm, yes. and they don't have what i have so i don't think and there's thousands of talk show hosts out there so if i'm in competition i mean i'm in competition myself with you have to be a strong like, individual you know it doesn't you, i'm not in, you know i am the competition guys <laughs> you know you let me tell you something this is how you can make your business grow the way mine has been growing uh -huh. okay we all know there's so many haters out there, you know, there's yeah. backstabbers, there's people, you know, calling, emailing, texting, you know, talking behind people's back, this and that. Who cares? Let them. If you're not in the competition with yourself and others, all, your business is going to grow. Let them say what they want. Oh, Let them I do what mind. they want. There's only one Nina over here. Yep, I've been promoting right. her. I love <laughs> her to right. death. Love you it. know what I'm saying? Uh, I love working with her. There's only one of me. There's only one of Troy. There's only one of my husband. There's only one of everybody, everybody. in the entire so world. So if somebody's going to compete with you or try to that take you down. That could be a compliment. That I take that as a compliment. That's a compliment. Yeah. And but I know that product. I took one you're more step product. up because they're down here and now we're up here. Yeah. Yeah. Let them, speak. Right. you know, they go up this way, they fall down uh, 10 times they more. Do things like they that. can't I mean, do it like you. In martial arts, I've always had people trying to compete with me. Because you're good. Yeah, I'm good I'm, because I'm taking things yeah. on my own path. Yes. We all have our own paths and we're not going to do everything the same way. No, not See, at all. Not and my path all. is very, very different. I'm mm -hmm. black, I'm LGBT, I'm an empath. I have a lot of struggles in many different ways over. I wouldn't and call so those I, struggles. I call that life. I call you're an individual. You are who you are. You are what you are. Relish it, enjoy you it, have to and embrace love it. it. You have to just embrace. embrace it. But he also has the biggest supporters. He knows I'm 100% uh, you know, behind yes, everything he does. That's I what you surround him. yourself with. That's yeah. what you should. On that, we've had a wonderful time. Happy birthday again. Thank you so Monica. much. Thank Troy, you. you're Good not you. young. Thank Troy, you. you're not so shy. You thought you were going to be You did great. You did awesome. And he did absolutely wonderful. Thank you, got great personality. And this, Thank you, this may, may be your first interview, but it's very so, very, his it's very not first, his last. But it certainly will not be his last. <laughs> no. It be probably won't. Again. They're Monica, telling you're the truth. Always, I love you on the show. I love you She's too. always Thank so gracious, and I learn an awful lot with Monica. Thank you, everybody, for watching Vegas Live with me. Don't forget to go to YouTube and subscribe. And um, don't forget also to share all our shows around because that's what builds everything up. And then we get further out there. We do further and we can help more people. We'll be right back next week. Vegas Live with Nina. You take care.